what actually just happened? I thought we were back in a bull market and I was excited. I thought, finally, I can do a video when it's green. And I was preparing all my stuff and then boom, kaboomski. Let's look at this. Look at the candle, the wick. So Bitcoin actually went up to 28595 $600. And it took quite a bunch of other tokens. Look at Nakamoto, man. And I realized after doing the Chainlink video, the previous one, I just talked about Chainlink. And I realized this is what I'm going to do, all right, from, well, in the upcoming days. Just pick one of the particular project or topic, even if it's a project, topic, token, whatever, and just nail it, okay, for five minutes or ten minutes or whatever it is. And once in a while, I'll just do um, a news, a recap, whatever, market stuff, state of the union. Fair? Because I want to talk about NVIDIA as well. Sometimes, if you think about this for a second, people running after some random token in crypto, expecting 100x, right? While thinking stock market is a meme. And if you look at NVIDIA, even if, let's say, okay, AI is, uh, what, a bubble, right? Bubble is going to burst. Whatever, just think about this for a second. It actually took off from $108, not even... 24th October, just about a year, $100, $148, $100, and then all the way peaked at $500, almost close to $500. And then it fell all the way, obviously, some people will cash out billion years, right? 410 and then picked up $50. That's very decent. On the other side, we have Nakamoto, one of the very few metaverse tokens I mentioned previously. Man, I still remember Naka when it actually launched and people were shilling. And look at the price over here, $5.80, $6 plus, literally. Top $7 plus. If you go back all the way, yeah, it was way up. So yeah, when you look at this right now and thinking about, man, it's sitting at 70 cents. It actually went up. Decent. So if you bought the bottom, which was 5 cents, man, not too long ago, again, sometimes early this, well, early this year to next, yeah, early this year, Jan, it was like 4, 5 cents. And then, boom, man, four, imagine buying at 7 cents and selling at 70 cents. That's a 10x right there, just like in a year, in a bearish scenario. But who knew that this would happen? If you follow the project, again, Metaverse is a very risky topic, NFT, whatever, keep mentioning this. But these are some of the places, like, you have to pay attention. If you really want to trade and play in this game, beside leverage, which I don't suggest ever, and I'm not too sure if you can leverage in the United States, and KuCoin is pretty much down. On the other hand, VRA. I actually hold some VRA. Ironically, just look at this one. I hold some VRA. It's actually on KuCoin. And unfortunately, you can't deposit in KuCoin anymore. You can only withdraw. So... If I can deposit funding, it becomes useless to me. So all I can do right now is sell VRA at one point and just take it out. And I need to find another exchange. So if you're in USA, how are you buying VRA? Oh, of course, decentralized, Unis uh, Uniswap, right? So you guys know that SBF, it's his trial today. Long awaiting, it's been a while, man. And time flies. Okay, now at US versus Bankman Fried. So this dude, Inner City Press on Twitter, is actually covering it live. And this is latest. I'm about to put this video up. So this is latest. And the latest one, I'm not going to go through this entire stuff. SBF sitting with five other lawyers on the other side with shorter hair or whatever. I'm not going to describe the entire stuff. But the latest, which was 17 minutes ago. So look at this one hour timeline. 24 minutes ago, Judge Kaplan. Okay, we are going for to break for lunch for an hour. Be back at 1.20. We'll fill the seats and proceed a, uh, a space. What? A pace? I thank you. Do not give any interviews. Laughs. See you later. Thread will resume. Dang. Yo, this is wild. So what do you think is going to happen? I'm really curious. And matter of fact, I don't have much to talk about. Like I said, I already explained my plan. Let me know what you think. I wanted to get another message across. And, um, and to do that, I have to pull up my other tweet. Hey, Sam, if you're watching, this is for you. Dear Sam, what's the point trying to grift? I mean, make billions when at the end you go to jail and let's say you don't. You dodge it like most scamsers, as usual. Okay, fine. But then you get hit by divorce. And your net worth drops below 50%. Fine, that didn't happen because Carolina. But you still want to leave those millions, well, billions, for your kids and generations. Kids that is not out there yet. But assuming kids. Why though, man? They won't remember you after two generations. And most then knowing you scammed, I mean, that's a fact. How many of you talk about your grandparents and extra grandparents or what, terrestrial grandparents? And nowadays with all the stuff that's been fed to the people, the Zoomers and stuff, I barely even, I mean, honestly, I think barely even remember their um, grand, great, uh, great parents, grandparents. They'll probably just, yeah, dad, and that's about it. <sighs> Sad, but that's what it is, man. Most then knowing you scammed, hell no. They'll avoid you like plague unless they forget that karma is a biatch. And now comes the day of judgment and you're called upon by God's soldiers. 
Who do you think is going to save you, man, from Hell's Ponzinomics? Tell me this. You're going to get rugged so hard, man, by Hell's Ponzinomics. It's going to be bad. Brutal. And you still have time. So maybe own up, accept your grift and scam, right? And do it right. You feel me yet, man? Because if you do it, because a lot of people followed your footsteps. Look at Elio Trades and all these dudes still doing grifting and stuff trying to get away, right? Who are you doing, making the billions for? Nobody's going to remember you for scams and stuff, man. I mean, it's not cool. So anyways... This is not only for Sam, it's also for others, alleged grifters and most, which actually is in the crypto space, a lot of them fall in that category. But regardless, something to learn from this, okay? But listen, I can't clean this entire industry by myself and I'm not even here to do that. I'm not a vigilant, I'm not even a coffeezilla right here. Look at this coffeezilla, not one of those dudes. But if I see something wrong happening, I like to document and that's so exactly what I do. And matter of fact, before I end this, I have a request, man. The least, maybe if you enjoy my stuff, if I'm spreading awareness, the least you could do is support me, not through donations or money or whatsoever, even though I'm, I barely make any pennies. However, I use some of the profits from anywhere else to fund advertisings just to spread awareness because algorithms don't favor me. So it's a pay to play kind of thing for me. Imagine actually using my funds, life savings, while I can't feed myself to actually spread awareness, to get messages across so people don't get scammed. So the least you could do to support me is just follow. Maybe down the road, if I have a decent following, I can get some decent sponsorships so I don't have to take money from you all. I mean, yeah, you know, let's actually take money from corporations and companies. So just doing my part, man. So yeah, now I'll just let you decide. You are pretty smart, I'm assuming, all right? So I'll see you in the next video. And by the way, I'm about to lay some really nasty stuff about Elio Trades and Super Farm and uh, if you're interested maybe follow along. You can clearly see a lot of people, at least 91 likes, probably agrees with what I say or, or mention. So yeah, probably maybe you'll find something useful when I break how NFTs and the terms, if you look at the terms and conditions, when literally you're paying for something, it says you don't even own it. Yeah, exactly. So stay tuned. And again, I'm thinking of breaking topics in different videos, which I'm going to do from next time. All right. And uh, till then, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.